The reason we're hosting this summit is to bring the intellectual firepower of two great universities to bear on what is one of the world's great grand challenges, namely how to create sustainable healthcare for the world's population. So at MIT we have a theory of change about the world and particularly a theory of change of complex systems. And we think that entrepreneurs as human agents in these complex systems are actually poised to make a difference. They can identify particular problems and really be laser focused on trying to provide solutions to those things. So our business is addressing global health challenges as emergency responses and exist in more than 60% of the world. So a system like 999 that you take for granted in the UK is not a reality for most of those today. MDAS Global is helping address global health challenges by providing um, high quality diagnostics services to the people in clinically underserved communities across Africa. See the Signs is really helping to address global challenges by looking at cancer specifically, so we help clinicians to diagnose cancer earlier um, using artificial intelligence. We go on this whole journey of uh, trying to persuade health students that actually entrepreneurial skills are so completely and utterly vital um, for the way they have to be health professionals in the future, so they can't just be like the health professionals who went before them. It really does need to change. We really do need to turn the world upside down to it, to think about things in different ways, to set different norms and different ways of behaving and different sort of organisational structures. We all know in healthcare we've got to get more done with less money, less delay. There's no substitute for innovation in this space and entrepreneurs can deliver new ideas, new ways of thinking. And that was when I got the idea of building Clinicas del Azúcar. It's a one-stop shop to provide affordable, specialized, and convenient uh, diabetes care in, uh, in Mexico. We make precision medicine accessible to patients across the world in a timely fashion. So what is it? It's a, an approach or a philosophy to derive more value from less resources for more people. I have seen how entrepreneurs, innovators sit at the bridge between society and change. The universities can particularly play a role in frontline care. Within the Ebola crisis in West Africa, we played a really critical role in frontline healthcare throughout that crisis period. But I think universities probably have a greater role to play in enhancing frontline care in the development setting, um, in the long term um, opportunities we have through global health partnerships. Entrepreneurship has been um, neglected in uh, the healthcare system to date. So I think entrepreneurship institutes have been really instrumental in shaping how we particularly think about um, the challenges and how we can actually develop them into businesses that have longevity. The advice I would give to um, future entrepreneurs would be to um, fall in love with the problem and not be a solution to it because that solution might change but that problem would still remain. What advice would I give aspiring uh, health entrepreneurs? Don't wait. Is that healthcare is growing rapidly, it already is massive, and there's so many opportunities to optimize and improve the way that you deliver care.